After a thousand years, Pandora's box was at last freed of its confines. Kratos had found the means to destroy the God of War. Far away in Athens, Ares knew Kratos had succeeded in his quest. So, little Spartan, you've recovered Zeus's precious box, but you will not live long enough to see it opened. I will see to that. Goodbye, Spartan. You will rot in the depths of Hades for all eternity. As the life began to leave Kratos, his thoughts returned to that fateful night. Even in death, the memories, the visions would not fade. For how could he forget spilling the blood of his own family? A cruel trick orchestrated by the God of War. My wife, my child, how they were left in Sparta. You are becoming all I'd hoped you'd be, Kratos. Now, with your wife and child dead, nothing will hold you back. You'll become even stronger. You will become death itself. But as the flames consumed the temple, Kratos realized his true enemy was the god who once saved his life. The same god who had now taken everything from him. Ares! From this night forward, the mark of your terrible deed will be visible to all. The ashes of your wife and child will remain fastened to your skin. Never to be removed. And with that curse, all would know him for the beast he had become. His skin white with the ash of his dead family. The ghost of Sparta had been born. In the end, in death, he had failed. As the minions of Ares claimed Pandora's box, Kratos' life faded and his cursed soul was cast into the fires of Hades. And Kratos fell into the underworld, the river Styx beckoning below, the currents strong enough to carry even the strongest mortal to his eternal resting place. But Kratos had no intention of resting yet. He intended to live. To return to Earth and complete his quest. Let go, fool! You won't drag me down to that cursed river! There is a task left for me above. I will see it completed. You again? Placing all of his godly power into the weapon had rendered Kratos mortal, vulnerable to the arms of death. Bloodied and beaten, he knew that to have any hope of survival, he must retrieve the blade of Olympus. Before his Spartan army, Kratos dragged himself up from the dirt.
Yes, I am forced to attend to this matter myself. Athena refused to undo her mistake. Imagine caring for a creature such as yourself. Why? Why would you betray me? It is you who would betray me. Am I to stand idly by while Olympus is threatened? Your hands are already stained by the blood of a god. I will not let Ares' fate be my own. The gods are petty and pathetic, and your rule is weak. I grow tired of this insolence. I am the king of Olympus. And it is my way that is the way of the gods. You must vow to forever serve me. I serve no one. Then you'll leave me no choice. of your choosing. A choice from the gods is as useless as the gods themselves. Even now, as you draw your last breath, you continue to defy me! Everything you have ever known, Kratos, will now suffer because of your sacrilege. You will never be the ruler of Olympus. The cycle ends here. You will pay for this, Zeus. Be certain of that. As the life drained out of Kratos, the arms of Hades reached out to claim their prize. But there was more resting on Kratos' shoulders than he could know. Kratos was destined to bring about change so severe that it would shake the very pillars of Mount Olympus. His death was something that I could not allow. Ares! Destroy my enemies, and my life is yours! This is not the end. Who are you? I am the Titan Gaia, ever-present mother of Earth. I have watched you become a powerful warrior. And I have been with you through all the events of your life. But I can no longer simply watch. We will help you defeat Zeus. Death is an escape, Kratos. You are a warrior of Sparta, not a coward. Only a coward accepts death. I am no coward. Then you must fight. I will show you the way to the Sisters of Fate. Only with their power will you defeat Zeus.
done well, Kratos. Freed from the bondage of Olympus and cleansed in chaos, mankind is now ready to hear my message. Look around you, Athena. The world stands in ruin. What good is your message? Go if you must. But first, I insist you give me the power from inside the box. The box was empty. That can't be true. I can see it in your eyes. You used my power to kill Zeus. You still have it as we speak. Don't you understand? When Zeus gathered all the evils and placed them in the box, I dreaded what would happen if it was opened again. And so, I summoned the most powerful weapon in the world, and I placed it in the box. I told you, it was empty. Pandora was sacrificed in vain. She died because of my need for vengeance. You must be mistaken. You used my power to kill Zeus. I saw you do it. Unless... Of course. When you open the box, you release the evils to the gods. Infected them. Changed them. Zeus himself fell prey to the dark evils. This is why he became so enraged and obsessed with your death. He was consumed by the evil, fear. I thought the power I placed in the box was never released. All these years I assumed you drew from the evils inside to destroy Ares. But I was wrong. you took from the box is mine. From it, you gained the strength that Zeus could never destroy. A strength great enough to overcome fear. Locked deep inside of you, Kratos, is hope. It has remained buried, trapped by your guilt and the failures of your past. When you killed Zeus, you must have allowed something to awaken it. What was it, Kratos? Hope is what makes us strong. It is why we are here. It is what we fight with when all else is lost. What was it, Kratos? All I remember is what I have lost. That is why you should give me the power. I understand its true meaning and where it belongs. I trust you to do the right thing, Kratos. You shouldn't. You owe me this, Kratos. I owe you nothing. I made you a god. I sheltered you from the wrath of Olympus. I delivered your revenge on Zeus. It is over, Athena. You would dare strike me down? Again? My vengeance ends now. Kratos, no! You fool! What have you done? Disappoint me, Spartan.
Thank <laughs> you.